There have been changes to the way that long-term uh, UK resident non-domiciles are taxed in the UK. And so, as a recognition of this, the government has introduced, uh, in effect, a one-off rebasing of qualifying assets for capital gains tax purposes to lessen the impact of capital gains tax on any later sale of those assets. Previously, long-term UK resident non-DOMs, once they'd been resident in the UK for 17 out of the previous 20 tax years, became deemed UK domiciled for inheritance tax purposes. Now, however, there are new rules which came into effect from the 6th of April 2017, by which long-term UK non-DOMs who have been in the UK for at least 15 out of the previous 20 tax years become deemed domiciled in the UK for all tax purposes. The impact of this is that their entire worldwide estate is within the scope of inheritance tax and all of the worldwide income and gains are assessed to tax for UK income tax and capital gains tax. The government has recognised this can have quite a wide-ranging impact. So for those individuals that became deemed UK domiciled under the 15 out of 20 year rule uh, with effect from the 6th of April 2017, the government is allowing in effect a one-off rebasing of assets of capital gains tax purposes to their market value as at the 5th of April 2017. Well, the first thing to note is that uh, any individuals who are born in the UK with a UK domicile of origin cannot access this rebasing. But for those individuals who did become deemed domiciled under the 15 out of 20 rule as at 6th of April 2017, there are conditions to apply which are broadly that the asset has to be held outside the UK, it must be held in their personal names or within a UK partnership or UK LLP. Um, it has to have been owned by them on the 5th of April 2017 and also it cannot have been situated in the UK at any point between the 16th of March 2016 and the 5th of April 2017. And the final condition is for those individuals is that they must have paid the UK remittance basis charge for any tax year before 2017-2018. The effect is that any historical gain in the asset that accrued before the 6th of April 2017 is ignored for capital gains tax purposes on a later sale. It's only any gain that accrues for that asset after the 6th of April 2017 which is taxable to CGT. So for example, if you have a qualifying individual that holds a property abroad with a long-term historic gain, any gain that accrues before 6th April 2017 is completely ignored. It's only any gain that accrues after that date which is taxable to CGT. So those are the kind of things that long-term non-DOM should be considering.